Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and I'm here at NAB 2016 in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, basic conventions for filmmakers, videographers, uh, anything basically video related. Uh, you're probably going to see it here, especially when it comes to the gear. So anyways, I'm going to, you know, just going to kind of walk around and kind of show you guys little snippets of the most interesting stuff. Uh, for more information, as always, you guys want to make sure uh, that you go to my website, which is tomatosfilms.com. Uh, so this year, there wasn't any huge announcements, but there was a bunch of little cool improvements here and there. The one demo I liked was the VR headset, which works with smartphones and lets you see what the drone camera I can see. Plus, you can rotate the camera by rotating your head. I also like some of the upgrades in the camera gimbals. This one from Lampart, which uh, allows you to control this GoPro gimbal using a wired controller. Uh, or you can also get the wireless upgrade, so you can operate this gimbal remotely. Uh, plus, it all works with standard GoPro mounts, so you can get the POV shots that are super smooth. Lampart has this cool little rig for the Blackmagic Packet camera. It lets you press it to your chest, uh, or you can flip the top handle to get low angle kind of shots costs $800. Now the rig that really caught my eye was for the Sony FS5. It costs $1200 on Amazon or B&H and it converts the small run and gun camera into a full size rig that allows you to attach lots of accessories thanks to the rails and the top cheese plate. Uh, plus, you can take their hand grip and mount it away from the camera for a more over-the-shoulder kind of rig. This is going to be especially useful if you decide to get the Sony RAW upgrade for the FS7 uh, for $600. Uh, to capture the RAW video, you will need an external recorder like this Odyssey 7Q Plus uh, monitor, which will also allow you to get true RAW video with the Sony FS5 in Cinema DMG. Uh, also converts the signal real-time to Apple ProRes. Uh, you can uh, this way capture RAW in 4K at 60 frames per second or even 120 frames per second in 4K but only in burst mode. Uh, in 2K resolution you can go all the way up to 240 frames per second continuous. The Odyssey RAW bundle will cost you just under $2000 uh, and will also work with the Sony FS7 or other Canon uh, RAW cameras. So I'm here with Tom and Patrick, the organizers of the two-day center school, uh, which uh, I'm a part of, and we're still going actually through United States, Canada, and Europe. For more info, just check out the links below. Uh, but they're also the organizers of FIA, and I'm going to let Patrick here kind of talk a little bit more about their organization and what they're all about. FIA, our membership-based association, where we can extend a number of benefits to people on a more continual basis instead of when they just attend our in-person classes. We have benefits like a free song from Song Freedom, $25 gift credit from Lens Pro to Go, other partner discounts, we have insurance discounts, credit card processing discounts, and discounts on educational events like the live in-person classes that Tom here teaches. If it's for more information or to sign up, go to filmmakersassociation.com. Uh, here is another cool product from Andrea Motion Focus uh, that lets you get perfect focus each time even when the subject is constantly moving around and let's say you open all the way at T1.5. Uh, it works thanks to the sensors that you place uh, on the actors or the props. Plus, using their app, you can switch back and forth from different sensors. A really cool idea. Unfortunately, this setup right now is way out of the price range for most indie filmmakers. It sells for above $12,000. Hello guys, I'm here at NAB 2016 and uh, finally get to meet the guys behind uh, Came TV. So there's Frank and Dave. Dave. Uh, yeah. Hi. Say Hi. hello. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is Kame TV. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna take you around. I'm gonna show you some of the cool new products that uh, that uh, right. these guys have. So they got, you know, you, you know that they've got some really good gimbals. So they got new gimbals. Uh, that I'm kind of excited. So I'm gonna test them out. Plus some other cool cool gear. Anyway, stay tuned. As you probably know, KMTV is mainly known for their affordable gimbals. Uh, they have their usual smartphone and GoPro gimbals, uh, but now they also have cool new pistol grip style gimbal that is similar to their Kim single, except this one also converts to a standard two-handle gimbal in just a few seconds. A really cool addition. If you want something that can take more weight, then you can get their Kim Argo gimbal, which will also allow you to mount a wireless follow focus. Plus, this gimbal can provide power via PTAP uh, that's located below the camera, uh, which is also where wireless video transmitter is hidden. If you need an even bigger gimbal for cameras like the Red Epic, then get the new Kame Prodigy. It has all the same features of the Argo, but in a bigger size. Also, the built-in 5.8 GHz video transmitter uh, is hidden under the camera. Uh, you can get all of their gimbals at B&H or even Adorama. Uh, and again, for all the latest prices, check out the links in the description of this video. Game TV is now also expanding the use of their gimbals so you can mount it on their uh, new cable cam system 
which is useful if you want to aerial shots in places where it's illegal to fly drones. Uh, now for those low angle shots, uh, you can also use the new RC car setup. Plus, they also offer a new harmonica style crane, which will allow you to attach any of their gimbals and power the whole system using a one V-mount battery. Uh, this way you can control the position of the camera on all three axes, but you can also extend or contract the crane to achieve different heights. Uh, here's an interesting new motion control unit from iFootage uh, with a slider and a pen and tilt head. Uh, it's good for live shooting and time lapse. Uh, right now you can control the whole system using this gamepad style controller. Now, the company is also working on a smartphone app that will give you even more control in the future with the uh, ramping and busier curves. Uh, the whole system is powered by V-mount batteries which are uh, included in the kit. Uh, they will also add a new follow focus system in the future. It's a really cool technology, you know, at a way cheaper prices than what other companies uh, offer. Uh, they also have an interesting new power solution. If you're going to do time lapse shoot, most often the problem is if you want to do overnight time lapse, uh, first thing that's going to run out is your camera batteries. With this thing, I mean, everyone nowadays got a power bank, so you can convert a power bank, any, any power bank, into this converter, high footage power converter. And then we have multiple different dummy oh. batteries. Plug it into your camera, so it lasts for hours. So we do support Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Blackmagic. So it's good for everyone that you know do overnight shoot or, or full day time lapse. It's perfect. Yeah, of course, if you just want a good uh, smooth slider, then they have that too. Now, getting back to drones, there's a couple new accessories that might come in handy. Uh, like this new drone parachute, which will detect when your drone starts to drop and will deploy to safely land it. Uh, also, now you can get these 2000 lux LED lights that you can mount to your drone so you can have uh, a flying light. This could be useful when you're trying to light, let's say, a big area or you can't put or afford to get a crane to mount a light uh, really high up. Uh, now, if you want super slow motion, then you know uh, Phantom Flex is the way to go. Uh, of course, those cameras are way too expensive to own. Well, now there's a new camera from Phantom called the VEO 640S. It's supposed to be affordable, but still there's no official price. Now, what's cool is that this camera allows you to shoot 1,500 frames per second in 4K or even 3,000 frames per second in 1080p. And uh, now here's some stuff from Aperture. These are the guys who create my favorite monitors. They also have a wide selection of pro mics. Uh, now they also have interesting new LED Fresnel lights that draw very little power but have very high output uh, of light. Plus the new Aperture 120T LED light that comes with a reflector that you can change out for a beauty dish that's just $100 uh, or even this cool new soft box that costs only $150. Uh, they also have these tiny LED lights that are perfect for location or on-camera lights. Uh, they can even be powered using a USB battery bank and I'll put a 120 watt tungsten equivalent. Uh, they can be used both as a spot or flood and come with filters. Uh, plus they have a 95 CRI rating. Uh, they also have a new lens adapter called the Lens DEC Regain. This one mounts Canon EF lenses onto a Micro Four Thirds mount. Uh, it has a built-in wireless focus and uh, aperture controller. And it also uh, is a 1.7 times focal reducer like the Metabone Speed Booster. So you can get that wider field of view or a shallower depth of field uh, when using Micro Four Thirds cameras. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, for more information, as always, go to my website, tomantosfilms.com. I'm gonna provide all the links, all the information about some of the things that I talked about uh, in this video. See you guys next time.